What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com. Today I'm going to bring you a comparison of the DMP Air Jordan 14 versus the Last Shot Air Jordan 14. So the last shot that's shown here is the 2011 release. I was thinking about doing the OG but the OG is a little bit faded and since this is a new model I just thought eh, I'll pull out the retro release and show you guys. So I'm not gonna be doing a comparison with the 13 because I really don't have anything that even resembles that of the Air Jordan 13. And to my knowledge, the Air Jordan 13 more resembles that of the NBA Championship Trophy, while the Air Jordan 14, a part of the DMP pack, it does also resemble that of the trophy, but it does have kind of a last shot feel to them. Now for those that are interested in grabbing the DMP pack, they drop on June 14th. Retail price is 500 and you have to buy them together. And a little additional information is it looks like it's a somewhat limited release. I don't want to go ahead and say it's super limited, but with the $500 price tag and if you really want them, I do believe you'll be able to get your hands on them. So I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check out the DMP review. Also, there will be one more video with the DMP pack. Um, hopefully I get that out um, either before they actually drop or the day of. And that video is going to be kind of fun. I think it'll be kind of cool. But let's uh, bring you a bit closer. So we have leather that's on the toe. And the leather used on this toe is slightly stiff. Um, but it's not bad. And if you, you're you going to notice the teeth. And it kind of has like an anthracite. It's not like true black. You can tell like there's a difference in shading. And now we have the last shot. Which features suede. And this pair has a true black but look at that craftsmanship gosh this is a 2011 release so much fucking glue you could probably create another shoe with all the glue excess on it but you got suede on the toe and i'll get to the tongue in a second but the jump man at the bottom um you know on the dmp it looks a little bit off um the last shot looks better but Red on the last shot, and it's just blacked out on the DMP. But for the tongue itself, we have leather on the DMP. Let me move this out the way. And suede is used on the last shot. Also, it's going to say Jordan up on the tongue, and that's done in red. But then this little, like, um, I guess rail, you would call call it. It's kind of like almost a ro rose gold. It could just be because it's faded. I don't know. It's like six-year-old shoe, but kind of see that. And then here's the DMP where it's more of an anthracite shade. And there's actually little bits of glitter, it almost looks like, on the rail, which is done in, like, a black. I don't know if that'll pick up. But, the leather used on the side. So, if you guys saw the previous video, you guys already know I'm a huge fan of it. It's very plush. Slightly, slightly tumbled. And then, the last shot. Tumbled leather. Quite a bit more tumbled. And the leather is <laughs> pretty stiff in comparison. Also, on this overlay back here, we do have suede. And on the DMP, it will be, or it is leather. Now, you got your Ferrari emblem, and it's a jeweled emblem, which I actually like more, to be honest. You're also going to notice in the midsole area, we have red used. And the DMP. So it's not a jewel, because you could feel everything. You saw the Ferrari emblem, but that's done in gold. And so is in the midfoot. Now I'll bring it to the hill real quick. I don't anticipate this being a long video, but you never know with me. So the shape to me is, it's off. Um, the last shot looks closer to OG. Um... But the Jumpman, you can see it's a little bit bigger and different shade, black, red, 
2-3-98-98 pays tribute to Michael Jordan's last NBA championship as well as him hitting the last shot. Now in this little area down here, I'm not sure the correct term for this, I guess you could just call them little windows or whatever. They are both red and it might be due to age, but this looks a little bit faded out. But not, not bad at all. Both of them I'm happy with. Um, quality and craftsmanship is better on the DMP, of course. So on the inside of the tongue, we have XIV. And then for the 14, on one of the tongues, it says they can't win. I'm not sure if that's focusing or not, so... Yeah, it says they can't win. And then the other one, let me grab that. Yeah, I didn't prep for this part. Forgot about that. And it says, until we quit. And that term was something Jordan would say in the locker room after games. So, medial side, it's the same as the lateral. But I'll show you really quick each one. And the liners are both, they're both black. And before I forget, too, I got to show you the lace tips and the insoles. But we'll get to that in a second. So both black. The DMP features gold metal lace tips. Very nice touch. And on your last shot. You have just your chrome. Alright, so we'll bring you to the sole really quick. Let me tuck that in. Predominant black. XIV is done in red. And in the midfoot, it's done in red as well. Uh, and then for the DMP, in the midfoot, we got gold. And we got a little bit of red where the XIV is. I'm going to forgot to show you guys the insole. But here is the last shot. Comes in all black. Jumpman in red. Now here is the DMP. All black and the Jumpman comes in metallic gold. Overall, um, the last shot to me is a classic. You guys already know the 14 is by far my favorite model. Like there's, that's it. It's number one. But I do like the changes on the DMP. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the quality is the number one. Number two would be the gold hits, and it still somewhat reflects that of the last shot. So I think it's pretty dope. Either way, um, it's just that $500 price tag, even though I dropped it, it's just like, geez. Also, I should have that Converse pack on the way, the Converse and Jordan brand one. I just got hit up by the same person I got this from. And they got it in, and they already knew I wanted it. So, yeah, that should be in. I think this week it'll be in. So, if, if it's in this week, I definitely will have it up this week because I'm not going to sit on that. All right, so that was your comparison of the DMP-14 versus the Last Shot Air Jordan 14. As a reminder, the DMP drops on June 14th, which is in the middle. I believe that's a Wednesday, and retail is 500 It seems like most people like one model over the other. I'm not sure if there's a lot of people that like them both equally. Me, I love the 14 over the 13. I could have gone without the 13 and been totally happy and just dropped 250 for this um, and just come with like a regular Jordan brand boxer what they did on like the aids and things like that. Now, if I could take the quality on the DMP and put it on the last shot, 100% the last shot is, is, damn. I really hope they remaster that shoe and just give it the the overall greatest treatment they could ever do and just do the shoe justice. I mean, man, I hope so. Also, I know I mentioned earlier in the video that I'm going to do another video on the DMP and 
it's going to be a comparison video. I, I guess you can call it a comparison, although I guess it's not so much of a comparison, more of a conversation with you guys. Um, but that should be pretty cool. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you had a choice to pick between one or the other, which would you pick? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.